Hi, good morning. Today I had a lesson with my student, a regular student, and he's taking Colin Method stage number 12 already, and he's almost finished with all of the stages of the Colin Method. Take a look at your progress now. You are in stage number 12, paragraph 1,199. Last headword is that. Okay, and you're all, you're almost finished with stage number 12. Okay, and for your reading, stage number 12, 1,144. Last headword is ledge. Is that correct? Okay, let's have the first question. In reference to writing, what do we mean by a review? In reference to writing, what do we mean by a review? By a review we mean a piece of writing that tells the reader about a book, film, event, or other product, and also and other product, and also gives the writer's opinions on it. Okay, where do we normally find reviews? Where do we normally find reviews? We normally find reviews in newspapers, in magazines, on websites, etc. What's the purpose of a review? What's the purpose of a review? The purpose of a review is to help the reader decide if they want to buy the product, watch the film, etc. What three parts can we normally expect a review to contain? What three parts can we normally expect a review to contain? We can normally expect a review to contain an overview, an assessment, and a verdict. Okay, what's the purpose of the overview? What's the purpose of the overview? The purpose of the overview is to give basic factual information about the product, event, etc. All right, what does the assessment tell us? What does the assessment tell us? The assessment tells us the writer's opinions regarding the positive and negative aspects of the product, event, etc etc. Okay. What does the verdict do? What does the verdict do? The verdict gives the writer's overall conclusion and recommendations regarding who the product or even might be suitable for. Very good. Okay. Which kind of story is more likely to have some basis in historical fact, a legend or a myth? Which kind of story is more likely to have some basis in historical fact, a legend or a myth? A legend is a story which is more likely to have some basis in historical fact. To have some basis in historical fact. Good job. Okay. What do I mean if I say the farm wagon trundled along the road? What do I mean if I say the farm wagon trundled along the road? If you say the farm wagon trundled along the road, you mean that the farm wagon moved noisily in a heavy and slow manner. Very good. What do we call a circular arrangement of leaves or flowers that we, we can use to commemorate a victory or death, for example? What do we call a circular arrangement of leaves or flowers that we can use to commemorate a victory or death, for example? We call a circular arrangement of leaves or flowers that we can use to commemorate a victory or death, a wreath. All right. If the world were to run out of oil deposits, do you think it would spell disaster around the globe? If the world were to run out of oil deposits, do you think it would spell disasters around the globe? Yes, no. If the world were to run out of oil deposits, oil deposits, I think it would spell disaster around the globe. The globe. All right. What do we mean by a spell of bad luck? What do we mean by a spell of bad luck? By a spell of bad luck, we mean a brief period of bad luck. What's a heat wave? What's a heat wave? A heat wave is a spell of exceptionally hot weather. Very good. Next. So if I gave you a stock market tip that meant you stood a lot to, to gain a lot of money, would you follow my advice? If I gave you a stock market tip that meant you stood to gain a lot of money, would you follow my advice? Yes, no. Yes, if you gave me a stock market tip, that meant I stood to gain a lot of money. Gain, gain a lot of money. I'd follow your advice. All right. Give me some other examples of stand to please. Give me some other examples of stand to please. You must be crazy to gamble like that. You must be crazy to gamble like that. You stand to lose everything you've got. 
you've got, you've got. As the only child of a wealthy businessman, on the child of a wealthy businessman, she stands to inherit a fortune. Very good. Next one. So is it possible to wade across a very deep river? Is it possible to wade across a very deep river? No, it isn't possible to wade across a very deep river. Why not? Why not? Because to wade across, your feet need to be able to touch the bottom of the river. Very good. Okay. What does the verb grapple mean? What does the verb grapple mean? The verb grapple means to hold something firmly and struggle with it. All right. Correct. Give me an example, please. Give me an example, please. The policeman grappled with a criminal on the balcony. Correct. Okay. Is it hard for the new manager of a football club to live up to fans expectations if his predecessor was very successful? Is it hard for the new manager of a football club to live up to fans' expectations if his predecessor was very successful? Yes, it's hard for the new manager of a football club, football club to live up to fans' expectations if his predecessor was very successful. Give me an example of the expression first and foremost, please. Give an example of the expression first and foremost, please. In the past, the practice of picking fruit and vegetables was first and foremost in order to preserve the food for as long as possible. Excellent. Okay. When heavy black clouds build up across the sky, it is, is it reasonable to assume a downpour is in store? When heavy black clouds build up across the sky, is it reasonable to assume a downpour is in store? Yes, when heavy black clouds build up across the sky, it's reasonable to assume a downpour is in store. Have you got anything in store for next weekend? Have you got anything in store for next weekend? Yes, no. I've got something in store for next weekend. Okay. Give me a sentence with the word presently in it. Give me a sentence with the word presently in it. The ceremony will commence presently once all the principal guests have arrived. All right. What happens to somebody who is caught betraying their country? What happens to somebody who is caught betraying their country? Somebody who is caught betraying their country. Who is caught betraying their country is imprisoned or perhaps even executed. Good job. Name an animal that waddles when it walks. Name an animal that waddles when it walks. The animal, sorry, the name of an animal that waddles when it walks is a penguin. All right. Have you ever spent a whole day without uttering a single word to anyone? Have you ever spent a whole day without uttering a single word to anyone? Yes, no. I've spent a whole day without uttering a single word to anyone. Is there anybody in the world that you feel utter contempt for? Is there anybody in the world that you feel utter contempt for? Yes, no. There is somebody in the world that I feel utter contempt for. Okay, who, who? Okay, describe a canoe, please. Describe a canoe, please. A canoe is a narrow open boat designed for one or two people, which we move by paddling. Which we move by paddling. Okay, for example, I have here my pen. Okay, and okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? You are jabbing your hand with the point of your pen. All right, next. What do I mean if I say the doctor gave me a job? What do I mean if I say the doctor gave me a job? If you say the doctor gave me a job, you mean the doctor gave you an injection. What does the verb dangle mean? What does the verb dangle mean? The verb dangle means to hang or swing loosely or limply. Give an example, please. Give an example, please. After the climbing accident, the climbing accident, I was left dangling on the rope 
for more than an hour before I was rescued. Okay. If a pile of plates is too high, what's likely to happen? If a pile of plates is too high, what's likely to happen? If a pile of plates is too high, it's likely to topple over and the plates will smash. All right. Okay. When do we use the expression, that's that? When do we use the expressions, that's that? We use the expressions, that's that, to convey that a conversation, situation, or process is definitely finished. Give me some examples, please. Give me some examples, please. You cannot watch TV till your homework is done. Is done. And that's that. The police know you stole the car. So that's that. I have just, sorry, I just have to knock in one last nail. And that's that.